Hi, how are you? I'm like happy Tuesday morning, believe it or not. It's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I'm Carrie Charlick. I am the founder and CEO of Essential Bodywear. And I'm along here with Kate the Great, our VP of Business Development. And she and I are here to answer some of your bra burning questions on fit tips. So before we get started, I just want to say we are gonna have a giveaway. Um, so we are gonna be doing a giveaway today. So what I need you to do is mention, do a comment down below and then mention a friend. And we will be able to um, do a drawing at the end for a winner of a free giveaway. So anyways, um, I'm Carrie Charlick and I started Essential Body Wear 21 years ago. And I knew that women really struggled with bra fitting and that they weren't getting fit in the stores. I, I was a busy mom of three. I knew I didn't take the time to go do it. And I thought, we gotta come up with a better way to get women what they really need, which is a well-fitting bra, because the bra is the most important thing in your wardrobe. It can literally make or break your outfit. And so, anyways, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with a little bit of a cold here, so I do apologize, but and so I'm a, like a little brain foggy here, so having this cold here. But anyways, but I knew that finding that perfect bra and the perfect fit will literally make a woman stand taller. She'll look 10 pounds lighter just by changing her bra. You know, we always had the saving, uh, the saying here at Essential Body Wears, which is change your bra, change your life. And I could go on and on of stories of how we've really impacted women's lives. So back again, so welcome. If you are just jumping on now, I just wanna remind you that we are doing a drawing at the end of this um, segment, live segment. So if you do me a favor, comment below and tag a friend and you'll go into a drawing for a free gift. Okay, so let's get started with some of the most um probably the biggest questions as a problem solver that we get the first is to kind of go through um how do i know my bra fits me per how do i know my bra fits me right well honestly i have to say the first thing is you need to be comfortable in what you're wearing so as a bra fit stylist i can tell you that you measure a 32 but if you're currently wearing a 36 the thought of putting you in a 32, you'd probably strangle me, even though it probably is your right size. So the most important thing is you need to be comfortable in that size, okay? So the things, I, oh, hello, Joy, From you're watching from Georgia, and you tagged your friend, Lynn. Well, congratulations, Lynn. You're gonna hear all about how great bras can make a difference. So anyways, back to knowing how my bra fits. So first of all, you wanna make sure that there's no gaping, like so that you don't have some extra, you know, uh, you know, pinch an inch here, like the, the cups are too big, or that what I like to call, and I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying this on, on Facebook, but boob bubble. That means when you've bubbled over the top of the bra. So that means the, the cup is probably too small. So those are some of the things. The other thing that I like to look to when I put a woman in the bra, the, the fit checks that I like to do is I like to pull out the band one to two inches in the back. And I like to put two fingers in it, pull it out, and then let it go back in. And then I like to rub my fingers around the back of the bra to make sure that it doesn't stop. So I just know it's not too tight. But if it pulls out more than two inches, I know it's too loose, okay? Um, the other thing is that if you're wearing an underwire, that the underwire should lay flat here against against your chest and that the underwire should be directly underneath your breast tissue. A lot of times I put a woman in a bra and she just pulls that bra down and I'm like, no, 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 no. The underwire should be directly underneath your breast tissue. So those are the things I like to look into um, if the bra is fitted. If you have any questions, don't forget, please um, put them down below and then Kate will let me know and I will stop reading the typical questions that we get. And don't forget to tag a friend and uh, in your comments below, you can go into a drawing. So another question we often get is how often should I get fitted for a bra? And we typically say six months to 12 to a year, okay? And that's because as women, our body changes, our weight goes up and down. We go through menopause, we stop nursing, um, just life changes, things change and your body changes. 
And so it's really good to go six months to a year, but don't go longer than a year. I have measured women that hadn't been fit in five years. And I'm like, and just the difference that bra makes in the way you look is amazing. So that's what I recommend. I kind of look at it as when you book your teeth cleaning, book your bra fitting, you know? So if you go every six months for your um, teeth cleaning, go every six months for your bra thinning and you'll be a very happy woman. Okay, another thing is, and this is actually the funniest question because this is what I noticed in women and why we started Essential Body Wear is I noticed that their bra band rides up their back. So you'd almost see like the bra band going in between their shoulder blades. And what, why does that do that? It's because your band is too big. It is either that or that your bra is really old and stretched out and you just keep horking on the straps trying to lift the breast tissue. No, no, ladies, that bra is either too big or stretched out, okay? So another one I get is why do my bra straps keep slipping down? Well, there's a couple different reasons that can happen. It could just be that you have shoulders that are kind of what I call Christmas tree shaped, like where you're kind of going down like that. And what we have, we have these uh, strappies that we have that you can put those on and they hold your bra into place. You could look for a bra with a leotard back, which is like our Abby bra that actually comes closer, but bras that go straight up and down are probably not a good idea for you. But another reason why most of the time when I find the straps are falling off is because women are buying a, too big of a band because they don't want to show their back fat. So they just keep going up in the bra band. And then so what happens is the, the bra straps get moved closer to the edge and that's why they're falling off. So that's why that band is so important. So I have a question. Um, they think they have to ask a question to be in the question. Oh, no, you don't need to ask. You can ask. If you have a question, I'm here to ask you. I'm here to answer you. So I'm here to be your problem solver here. So let's get to those burning questions. If you have one, absolutely. The only way, the way you get in the drawing is just tagging a friend. Okay, so comment below and tag a friend. Okay, so <coughs> again, I'm sorry about this. Um, why... Uh, what can I do if my bra underwire is digging into my skin? And there's many reasons why your underwire digs into your skin. Uh, if your underwire is digging into your skin, it can mean a couple different thing things. And this is why I really recommend, we offer virtual fittings. We have fit stylists all over the country. They can do a virtual fitting with you. They can do an in-person fitting with you. And this is why I really recommend this because this is a tricky question. Because typically I would say the number one reason the underwire is digging is because it's not laying flat and staying put because the band is too big, okay? So what happens is that when you have a snug band fit, and that's why when I said when I'm checking the thing, I wanna go about two fingers all the way around, pull up one to two inches, that makes that underwire lay flat and stay in position and not move. So when you go to a bigger band, what happens is the underwires shift and poke like this, okay? So this kind of shift and poke. What do you wear when you get sized oh good question let me finish the answering this question and that's a good one kate mm -hmm. so um that this happens the other reason is the cup is too small and so it's just kind of poking and digging into it again that's where i would literally lead you into doing a virtual fitting with one of our fit styles okay so now what do you wear when you go in for a, a fitting well first of all wear your best bra that you have like but don't wear a sports bra don't wear a minimizer don't wear something that has compression because we want to actually fit you while you have a bra on. And don't not wear a bra. And don't not wear a bra. That's the best thing I can do is get you into, you wear your best bra. We will literally sit there and measure you and then we'll have you try it on. But if you come in without a bra on, it's really hard to measure you. So I end up just kind of putting you in a bra just to get the girls lifted and in place. And if you have a sports bra on that is really compressing down the tissue, then it is harder to get that, that measurement. So just wear your best like everyday bra that you have. That actually works really well. Um, and we like to do our before and afters with our sticker test on it. And people are like, what's the sticker test? Well, the sticker test is we like to put those stickers where you think your nipples are now. And I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying that. And then what we do is we put you in the right bra and then we have you put your shirt back on with those stickers on it. And then you see the lift that the stickers give you. So that's a good question, Kate. Um, let's see. 
The next question I always get, um, how do I prevent my bra from showing through my clothes? Especially during the summer when we're wearing some you know, tight t-shirts and snugger fitting clothes and stuff like that. And you start to see the outline of the bra, which I feel like is a no-no. Like I, I don't wanna, I wanna look as seamless as I can. So I brought a couple samples here to show you um, how to avoid that. So what happens when you have your bra showing through, it typically means that this edge here is, even though this looks like a seamless bra and everything, this sometimes tends to start to roll with age. So it doesn't have anything that's kind of keeping it down. Yeah, it's kind of sewn down here, if you can see that, but it's, or it's, um, yeah, it's sewn down, but it starts to roll, okay? And then like, if you look at our Abby bra, which is our best selling bra, see the bras that are sewn down? You're like, oh, that's not seamless. Well, so that is actually what keeps it from rolling is this piece of fabric that goes across here. So that's really what makes the difference in wearing that seamless um, t-shirt bra. And that Abby is our seamless t-shirt bra. Now, another bra that I wear, which is our Emma bra, which is, here's the Emma bra. Um, I love the Emma bra. It's probably my go-to bra in the summertime just because, you know, the molded cups sometimes can get hot during the summer. And so we're in Michigan. We've been having very hot and humid days. So I like to wear this one. It's very lightweight. It's a little bit of a minimizer. But again, it has this sewn down here. And you're going to go, but Carrie, that has lace in it. And I don't want to show through my t-shirts. Guess what? I can wear this with a white t-shirt and it doesn't show. This color actually disappears on every skin tone there is and it disappears underneath white I know magic isn't it so this is our Emma bra so uh this is a big one so what's the difference when people want to know what sister sizing is and the why the sister sizing is so important is let's say you gain some weight and you're like my 34d is just too tight I can't wear it I want to rip it off when I get home it's too tight. So the biggest mistake women make is they go by a 36D. So they just go up the band size and stay the cup size. Well, if you weren't having any bu bus breast bubbling up here, you didn't need to do that. If the cup was just fine in the 34D, but the band was too snug, then what happens is you move up to the 36D and the cup now is too big and you have that gaping. Okay, the Emma color is called Twilight Mauve. So that was a question that we just had. So I just want to show you, this is our cup sizing. So all of our fit stylists have this cup sizing thing. So a sister size is a bra that has the same cup that is used on all of these sizes. So this one, for instance, is a 34H, which is a 36G, which is a 38F, which is a 42E and a 44D. So not all D cups are the same. It all depends on your cup size. But this cup that we use in our factory to make our Abby bra is used on five different band sizes, okay? So that's one of the most important things. So that you're like, okay, maybe the bra that you want is on clearance and you wanna grab it and you're normally a 34D and the 34D is gone. Well, you could either get a 32E or you can get a 36C. So that's just another thing. If you're looking, you know, to kind of compromise, you could go either the band down, then you move the cup up. And then if you're going band up, move the cup down. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Cause that is one of the biggest things. So this has been one of the things that in the 21 years, I think all of our fit styles can agree. This is one of women's biggest complaints is um, their back fat, their bra bulge and they don't like it. And it is something that, guess what? Every woman has it. We have a little bit of back fat, but you know, we have a saying that we see you coming. We don't actually turn around and look at you from the back. Did you know that? We don't do that. We see you coming. We see your face, we see your, your breasts, we see how great you look in your clothes. We see this side of you. We don't turn around and look at that. But let me get to one of our bras that we have which is, and I think I just dropped it, which is our back smoothing bra. This one's in the Mocha Mousse. So this is our Abby Luxe. 
and this is our Abby Corn. Again, they're not the same size, but I just wanna show you the difference. So we did bring this in. You can kind of see where we have it go up further in the back and on the sides. So you can see the difference. Now we are running low on this one because it is one of our wonderful selling bras and we are running low on it and hopefully we'll have a reorder in maybe before the end of the year. But um, anyways, we're working on that. But I just wanna let you know, check out our back smoothing. The bras that have the back smoothing in it currently right now are the Emma, the Abby Lux, and the Poppy. Right, Kate? Yeah. You got it right? Okay. I, you guys, brain fog here, so I do apologize. So now we have a question. How does a virtual fitting <coughs> in an in-person is best, but a virtual can be just fine. can work? Okay, so how does a virtual fitting work? So you would schedule a time with one of our fit stylists and you would get on a Zoom call or a FaceTime. And what she will ask you to do is get a measuring tape. She's gonna ask you to wear your best fitting bra that you have. Just like I said, when you go in for a fitting, she's going to do that. She's going to ask you to take some measurements. So she's going to ask you to take an underneath measurement. She's going to have you take a bust measurement, and then she's going to have you go across the top here. So she's going to ask you a couple different measurements, and she's probably going to ask you a couple different questions too. Because a lot of times as a fit stylist, we fit with our ears more than anything else because we're listening to you. We're kind of find, trying to find out what the issues are. So that's how that works. They last about 10 minutes, um, maybe a little bit longer, but about 10 to 15 minutes they take and they're pretty easy. And if you want to book one, you can go to our website and go to the little chat box there and mention you want to get a fitting and we will put you in touch with a virtual fit stylist. Um, or if you want it in person, we'll try to find you somebody that is in your local area that you can do an in-person fitting. Okay. Um, is, it, <coughs> is it normal for my bra size to change frequently? Well, you know, I had one customer when I first started the com company and I think Kate will remember this customer. Her bra size changed so frequently that it was when it was that time of the month for her, she would go up almost two cup sizes. And then when it wasn't that time of the month, she went back down. She was either a 32A or a 32C. That does happen. We have that. So she had to have two different bras bras for her two times, her different times of the month. So that happens. Uh, weight loss, um, weight gain. So typically we say, 10%. So if you've lost 10% of your body weight, so if you're 150 pounds and you lose 15 pounds, it's probably time for a new fitting. Typically, that is what it what is works. Now, there are other women that I can drop 20% of my weight and then maybe I might need a new bra size. As women, we're not all built the same. Our bodies don't always work the same. When I lose weight, I lose it in my face. I literally go gaunt in my face. That's the first place that I lose my, my weight and my breasts are the last place that I lose it at. So we're all different. Uh, weight gain. Yes. You know, and again, I just figured, you know, it's 10%. So if you went from 150 to 165, you might need to get time for a fitting to go get changed, but it is normal. So um, how can I find a bra that provides good lift and support? You, I'm going to say this and I'm probably going to get shot for saying this, but as a full-breasted woman, I love my underwires. I'm sorry. I kind of tell people all the time, I will go to the grave with my underwire on. That's just me. That's how I feel. That's I'm more comfortable in that. So I look for a bra with an underwire. And we like to say that our bras have, our underwires are not U-shaped. They're more like a smile. You can kind of see. They're like a smile. So a U-shape is like that. And by the way, the shape of, of of the underwire it determines the shape of your breast tissue. So if you go to one that's more like a U like this, you're gonna have like long torpedoes sticking out. So one that goes like this, that's more of a smile, it's more comfortable, and it gives you a more rounded, fuller breast that you know, it looks more normal, okay? Um, but you wanna look for bras that have the wider straps and people often go, why are the, bra the straps so wide? It's because it's part of the design, it actually is part of the comfort, it's part of the fit. And then you wanna look, and this is actually, the Abbey is considered a balconette bra. So a balconette bra is probably your go-to bra with a good underwire, good thick straps, and you are good to go. 
Kate, do we have any more questions? Nope, that's it. Okay, do we have a winner? All right, I'm gonna have you pull from... From my bra suitcase? Yep. Bra suitcase. Okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, Joy Thomas Holy is the winner. And we're gonna be in touch with you to get your address so we can get a gift in the mail to you. So thank you for joining us today on Problem Solve Live here. And we look forward to touching base with you again. And again, if you need that virtual fitting, you need that in-person fitting, you know to go to our website, essentialbodywear.com, and we will hook you up, no pun on that, with a fit stylist. Thank you. Bye-bye.